Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Thanks for coming to our channel. I really appreciate it. Today is a really exciting day for me personally. It's kind of a milestone. I've been testing this equipment with a company called HeatCon for over two years to perfect their newest heat modification system. It's called a deck forming kit and it's made by a company called HeatCon in Tukwila, Washington. And they chose me to test their newest product. I've been using their equipment for over 20 years, learning how to heat manipulate, meet, meet manipulate? Learning how to heat manipulate PVC and composite deck boards with their products. And what I have in my shop today is the newest and latest and greatest kit that they offer. So let me explain a little bit about what it is. Normally when you bend a 20 foot deck board, you have to have two sets of blankets to do that. They sell their blankets in 10 foot kits. That's because the power requirement to run a 20 foot blanket is not efficient. So you have to run two 10 foot kits. So in the past, we've had to run two different sets of boxes, one for each end, and each one was individually controlled by programming the temperature, and then letting it go. And then you had to monitor each side to make sure that the temperature stayed the way it should, or you would have to make adjustments on the boxes. And it wasn't super accurate. With the new system, they still have two boxes for a 20 foot kit, but you have the ability to control them in a different way. There's also a touch programmable screen on this one instead of the push button, which makes it a lot easier to program and, and change temperatures and that kind of stuff. But the coolest part about the system is you can independently heat the bottom blankets at one temperature and the top blankets at a completely different temperature so that you can control how much heat you're putting into the plank from the bottom and the top of the board. Why is this important? Well, most decking products have a beauty side of a board and then they have a bottom side of a board. Some companies make their deck boards with both sides uh, with an appearance grade on them, but the products I use have a definitive side up and a definitive side down. And what I like to do is I invert my decking when I heat it because heat rises. So I always try to make sure that the bottom of the plank is going to take more abuse than the top of the plank. That's why I always put my top board down when I'm heating a deck board. Now with the new system, I can also adjust how much heat I want to give to the cap stock or the top, the beauty side. And if I want to punish the bottom side of the board to force more heat through the plank, I can do that as well by adjusting the temperature. Now let me show you how that works. So this is your primary box right here and it control, it's the master. It, it controls everything about the system. There's uh, the top blanket temperatures, the bottom blanket temperatures. It gives you a timer. It tells you how long you've been cooking for. You can clear the timer, start and stop. There's a lot of different functions in this new box, but I think one of the coolest functions of this box, and this was my idea, to put a network cable into the system. So this primary box also controls the secondary box. So if we follow this cable, and it's plenty long for what we're doing, because decking only comes 20 feet long, it plugs into the secondary box, which is over here, and it communicates with the primary. So right now, I've had this, um, this heat going for probably 45 minutes or so. This board's ready to go. But these lights are indicator lights and they'll tell you when you're putting heat on and when you're taking heat off of a top blanket and your bottom blanket. So it's continually maintaining the proper temperature that you're programming it to do. So this makes the system really efficient. You're gonna have less cooked boards or you're gonna have less overcooked boards when you're doing your, your products. Another thing for all you guys that are cap composite fans, you don't use a lot of PVC, but you still wanna bend your cap composite boards. You'll be able to put more heat to the bottom of your board and be able to make those bends a little bit easier without ruining the cap stock or the top side of the decking and you won't be smushing your hands into it while you're trying to create those curves okay so a really important factor there so between the ability to control the top boards and the bottom boards you can do a 10 foot board or with the the uh, 20 foot kit you can bend 20 footers and what's cool about that is that the primary box will make both the bottom blankets run at the exact same temperature and then whatever you program, and then you can run the top blankets at the exact same temperature. Or if for some reason you have a tighter bend on a 20 foot board in one section, you can run that section of the board hotter. That's getting into some really advanced bending. I wanna show you what the board is looking like. Let's take a digital thermometer 
and I'll show you the temperature fluctuations from where my program temperatures are to the actual temperatures on the deck board. All right, let's go over there. All right, you can see that I have my top blanket set one and two set at 250 degrees and I have my bottom blanket set at 200. Let's see what that translates out to on the actual deck board. This board has been heating for 45 minutes, so I anticipate it's ready to go. Always wear a welding glove or a of glove or the supplied heat gloves that Heatcon sends with their kit so you don't burn your hands when you go to pick up this board because they're very hot. And I've had blisters, I've had micro blisters and medium sized blisters on my hands for not wearing the proper gloves. Cause when you're in the middle of a bend, you're not gonna stop and put the right gloves on. You're gonna finish your bend and then go cry. Here's the uh, blankets. Here's that board and she's nice and pliable. But we said, okay, we, the top blanket is at 250 and it's, it's heating our board to 220. So there's about a 30 degree temperature fluctuation and the bottom of our board's at 180. The board's about 20 to 30 degrees cooler than the actual program temperature. If I was doing a tight bend, I would bump 20 to 30 degrees on those program temperatures so I could get that board in the bottom into the 200 range and the top of that board into the 250 range. But right now, if I'm doing a 10 foot radius or larger, I would take this board and just pop it in my form and make it happen. So, this is a really cool system. I'm really stoked and excited about it. As we continue to use it, I'll probably add some more information in, a, in subsequent videos. So keep watching and make sure that you stay tuned to see what we can and cannot do with this new HeatCon heat forming kit. All right, guys, so I'm gonna bump the temperature up on this board and I'm gonna do a 10 footer. And let me show you what we can do with this decking. I'm just gonna tighten a knot, okay? All right, let's go. All right, guys, so we have a board in the new blankets, uh, the new HeatCon setup. And I cranked up the heat a little bit just to get a little warmer because I'm gonna tie this board in a knot just to show you kind of what it's like to throw away 50 bucks. No, actually just wanted to show you the flexibility and the pliability and how well this system works, okay? So here we go. I mean, it's like a noodle. Ta-da! So there you go. I uh, hope you guys learned a little something about HeatCon and how we bend deck boards. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.